As a graduate in history from the University of Oxford, Michael Wood fell in love with Chinese history after reading an English translation of ancient Chinese poetry. He was immediately drawn in by the scenes depicted in the late Tang Dynasty poet Du Mu's works. The person who really got me when I was a kid was a, a less important poet called Du Mu, and he wrote a lot of four-line poems. And they're really fantastic, you know. Um, uh, uh, so I used to try to learn uh, some of the poems of Du Fu in Chinese. Those great poems, you know, the one about the Yangzhou Meng. So um, yeah, that was what got me interested in Chinese. And this is the very famous poem, Lo Po Jiang Hu Zai Ju Xing, Zhu Yao Xian Si Jiang Jun Qing, Shi Nian Yi Zhao Yangzhou Meng, Ying De. The charm of Chinese poetry impelled Wood to embark on a journey of discovery. He was a frequent visitor to the British Library in London when he sought to gain insight into China's history through its collection of oracle bones. Some of the signs are very like the signs in modern Chinese, you know, like rain, like that. They're very bothered about rain and water. Now you can see, so this, these are the holes which are, you do the um, heated metal point on the, the reverse side, and that's what produces the cracks on the other side. The data that these, they're not just about divination, they're uh, an incredible insight into the, the whole story of early China. Beautiful. Among the well-known TV shows wrote and presented by Wood was a series called The Story of China, which became an immediate hit after airing on BBC in 2016. The production team visited China more than 10 times in three years of shooting. It's a great time to be looking at the events which have shaped the history of China and the ideals which have made its culture so distinctive and so brilliant for so long. Following in the celebrated Tang Dynasty poet Du Fu's footsteps, Wood and his team traveled across China to shoot on location. In April 2020, another one of Wu's documentary, Du Fu, China's Greatest Poet, was aired on BBC, bringing worms and inspiration to people during the pandemic. And everything is stirred up and on the move, and um, he is living through that. And a lot of his poems are about exactly that, the suffering of the ordinary people. You know, there's a famous poem where Du Fu says, uh, um, it describes what's happening to these poor people and, and tells him about the dead that lie out in Central Asia, the bones bleaching and, uh, you know, so he had a great eye for ordinary people's suffering, you know, and a great subject for a film. To better understand the urban culture depicted in Tang Dynasty poems, Wood frequents London's Chinatown, where he's often greeted by fans of his documentaries. About 100 years ago, about 1914, uh, this Chinatown began, although it was declared Chinatown much more recently. And the First World War period was really important in British-Chinese relations because so many thousands, tens of thousands of Chinese people worked for the Allied armies in the Western Front. And now, as you can see, this is a center of Chinese culture, Chinese music, Chinese theater, Chinese opera. It's a very, very vibrant social scene here. And, uh, well, Chinatown's a big feature of London. You. Um, you wouldn't want to do a tour around London without coming to Chinatown. Not only a gourmet for Chinese food, Wood is also an expert with chopsticks. He has even collected a Chinese cookbook from the Song Dynasty. Um, China is a very good place for vegetarians, actually, because so, uh, you can arrive in somewhere in the middle of the night and they can rustle up a meal in no time. But a big Chinese banquet is wonderful. It's called Pure Recipes from the Mountain House Cookbook. It's the oldest cuisine. Nowhere else has got a cookbook 700 years old and it's still in use, you know, so uh, fascinating. It tells you something about the culture, I think. From Du Fu's poems to Song Dynasty cuisine, 
Wood has immersed himself in Chinese culture, and through his documentaries, he has successfully passed on ancient wisdom to contemporary audience. In Xue CGTN.